Pepe as well. That's going to land back site. Sabrosa is still here over towards Octagon trying to help out. And now the squad has arrived with support. And it all falls down to A-Proto. Wardell's even going to get the heal. Bringing him back up to 74 HP. A-Proto does have full health and armor. But there's that final kill coming in. Could get a backstab kill on the raise. They swing this. Doesn't matter. Bang is here. Has backup as well from Hookah. But very early. It's a glass cannon. But equally as damaging is that Ooh. right there. Nice shot coming out from Wardell. Dodges the nade. And inside lamps. Just can't quite get the timing right. Fan dives through and things are again brought back to even strength. Great move from LG, forcing lots. Good return in time. Now, Sabrosa still falls, as does Bang. That's a big death in here as well with a rifle. And yeah, that's the round going the way of LG pretty much. Hayes doing what they can, but likely going to try and bail out with this rifle. Maybe not. Nice peek coming out from Hayes. That's another kill going their direction. The opening kill, it's Tig with the rifle, but because of the position that Wardell got flushed into, that's what opened that possibility up. Bang with the sheriff inside Hookah. There's one inside the smoke towards Spawn, but now it's all down to Bang, the last player standing inside Hookah, trying to draw some blood. Woo! Nice shots coming out from Bang. He's found three. The ult's going to go down as well. That's a 4k for Bang. He's got it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Dazzle's on site. 8 HP for oh. Bang and pulls the pin on the nade at the gravity well. Actually slows Huge. them down, but that allows Leviathan to line up from distance and do significant damage, taking a player out of the equation. The res comes through. Here's the peek from Sabrosa. One, two, trying to find the third. It's the player who was rezzed. Pistol comes out, but the sidearm can't be deployed quick enough. Tig is still on site. Gonna go ahead and pop the ult from Showers. Your boy Dre. Surprise, I'm in U-Haul spawn and we'll have an advantage in the one-on-one -on -one as the portal is taken. Has an opportunity here. Taps the spike. Baits out the first peek. Knows the last player is gonna be inside Hookah. And now just goes for the tap on the spike. Wants to bait this player out. There's the quick shot from Wardell. Has to wait for the snake butt, but has continuing to lurk into the U-shaped hallway and able to get these these kills that we talked about. These he ends up picking them off the Boombot wasn't moving up quick enough, and Wardell is feeling it, getting a little bit more aggressive down mid. Finding a third kill, a, a lot of potential for backstab play, but just doesn't. Such a different composition from what we're used to seeing. That is not how you want to see the round start. It's going to be Wardell, who's currently playing up on top of APC. That's an early exit for Dazzle. One-way smoke goes down. Dismissal of Ban as well. Going back up on top of the APC is Bordell. There's one right around the corner from Leviathan. Leviathan's just playing this line of sight, trying to get the best of Tig. And it's all working out for TSM here. It's down to just two players. And does he hit the shot over the top? No. Very difficult to try to face check against Wardell with the op. And speed off face check. Here it comes towards Shabuka. This round down. Just a matter of whether or not they use it. Nice shock dart coming in. That'll flush your boy Dre out of position. And it's the tandem duo. Uh, that very well could be the uh, oh, karma, instant karma moment of the match. As you can see, that player flushed out of position directly into the sights of Wardell. Now the ult's going to come through. And again, similar play, setting up their team for success. There's the ult coming out from Sabrosa, spotted by the last player on site, which is Dazzle. They heard the orb being picked up. They see the little yellow that Dazzle has the ult. And then there's no more noise, so they can re-push. And now here comes the push inside the site. A big trade for an op for a showstopper as LG are running into the site. Wardell couldn't escape. There's flames currently billowing beneath Sabrosa's feet. Leviathan is still here. Shock darts on the money. But there's some counter ult work coming out from the other Soba. Leviathan does dodge well. Bang is already through and has dropped one of the players inside Hookah. A Proto's got a line of sight, but now is the last player standing. Great flash into Hookah to force A Proto into the corner. And now as they go for the defuse, does he stick it? Leviathan's thinking about it. Pulls off at the last second, but A Proto has it. Uh Sabrosa get the timing. That's a freebie. And now they're pinched. They're trying to figure out what to do. TSM has got them crunched in. Ban alone with full armor looking for an opening. Nice flash. Ban just has no... On both ends of the map. So TSM later on on a mid round could really choose a good hit. Wardell. This time it's self-sufficient as it was all done. Fine. Your boy's right currently in heaven. And take immediately to the right. They've got this perfectly set up to get these two kills coming through from showers. All the timing as he drops out of heaven could have made things a little bit more awkward. But TS is coming through as well. The Seeker is starting to come out towards spawn. You've also got the drone coming in. Seeker spotting out players. Tig's trying to escape, but they're already out on the site. Sabrosa doing great work with the ult and the backup from Bang as well, who fell in the meantime. It is a four on three with 20 seconds left. They'll guarantee the plant flick. 
not quite downward enough. Shot guard. Ordell had his crosshair a little too high on that, but he'll get the trait. He'll get the kill anyway, so he'll find it in the end. Goes for the smoke on himself, and the last player standing is going to be a proto coming to the spawn. Does at least get one. Might be able to spill some additional blood. We know what a proto is capable of. Can't necessarily count him out, but there's a great crossfire here, so good luck. And at first for the attack looks pretty good, but then for the defense, not having that sentinels. No How does LG react? Timing here. Hayes does not realize that Ban has snuck down. He turned mid. around. Oh man, Hayes gets a little bit lucky there. So I don't know if you spotted it, but Hayes was jiggling it initially, checking, and then looked back. I think to maybe deploy something on the A site, and in that time, they had pushed down. There's a rare satchel kill coming out on a very low target. That was a proto bank's gonna peek out and find rounds on the scoreboard. And now with match point for the first map for TSM. I think the money should be very low now for LG. I was hoping to see maybe like the the old and uh, you can see here for TSM it's a lot more phantoms than vandals. We have the show start going into oh my god. The Shadow Charge the first block. They understand now these sage walls and how to counter them for TSM. There's the ult coming in. Doesn't get damaged, but it does put Bang in a position where they're forced to fight. Boy Dre will eventually go down. The Seeker's coming out. Flash around the corner. Seekers are charging in. A Proto takes care of Leviathan. In that time, though, Sabroza has actually snuck towards Elbow inside the smoke. A Proto can't quite line it up. But joke's on you. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and plant on the A site. Sabroza's going to be our anchor here, and they're going to realize it in just a second. Sabroza can now be the thorn in the side. Spotted ultimately by Tig as both players bait out which direction he's going to be looking in. And they heard a TP. So they know the pinch is coming in from spawn site because they heard the footsteps as well towards spawn. Wardell's already waiting there with the op. Very difficult here for LG to retake. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Even if you miss that shot, you've got the knives as a backup play. You know Wardell wants it. He's toying with him at this point, but he has Gravity Well comes in first. Another tap from Dazzle. Time is of the essence. Hazed has the spot lined up and ready. 13 to 6. I do love that they've doubled this position in the corner. So they have this this capability to bait out this play. They're not going to expect a second player to be there. And the Leviathan has snuck up in mid. So it's a one for one. Good damage being dealt to Wardell. Distance shots coming out from Leviathan. Bang is there as well with the shots coming through. And it is quickly going the way of TSM here as it's been reduced down to two. But as I say that, a proto survives long enough to pick up the frag onto... Leviathan, the last remaining player, is a proto trying to hit the shots here with the classic. Gets a second one. Now looking for a third with 35 HP. There's two more remaining. There's the third. It's down to the 1v1 against the Sage. Low on ammo. And bang goes for the swing. The plan to happen out in the open could be huge. But look at this rotate back. Oh. And it's read by your boy Dre. That is beautifully played. But countered well by Wardell as well with the dash. Realizing that they had to make a quick move. So the dash comes through after the dismiss came out from your boy Dre. I like that Dazzle is doubling down on the mid control. Might be able to get the timing here. They need to go in there quickly to the site. But there's still one present. It's a proto, and that's the round going the direction of LG. Hayes can't even get it. Or even to Jet, but Wardell is going to continue to wield that. He gets a freebie sneaking up mid. Didn't check his right, though, and a proto was still present. Nice flash around the corner. Might be able to get the best of them inside this. That's one kill before being eliminated by Leviathan. Towards A side. So we can continue this for LG. We see this pressure continuing to surmount as they have close, player, uh, close players into the A entrance. But this lurk is still happening from TSM towards this A side pipe. <laughs> I love this one too. Play with the door switch. You can wall bang it. You can't break it. So this allows here for you to just get the easy pick onto your boy Dre at the door from Leviathan. <laughs> Enjoying themselves, certainly. Dazzle right on the other side. Can't get the double. Almost had a chance there. For the, the swing of the crosshair, the sweep across. Tig will almost too long. We'll see if it backfires at all. Tig has a similar plan. I know exactly where you are. Well, there's the ult coming out from Cypher. And yep. with the hat being tossed out, that's going to make things a whole lot harder. Tig coming through the main. Zabroza goes for the swing. Nobody's pushing from Hayes' camera that was placed towards cannons. First blood will be spilled. Your boy Dreb will go down as Wardell hits the shot. Tig is on site, playing around on the pillar. The wall's going to go up. 
gives him a false you sense of security, though, as Sabroza had already moved around the other side. There's a res coming in, but Vans on the flank with the knives out. Had an opportunity there, but goes with the left click instead of the right click. At that point blank range, could have worked out a little bit better. Who knows who's to say for certain. It's all down to a proto. 90 HP has Seekers and the Sheriff. Also has a flashbang available. This shot from Wardell, even though it was nearly out in the world on these rotations, then it helps a bit. And there you go. You Sage right behind. Do they lead him with the flash? There's the Seekers. Oh no, they don't react off of it. And that allows a Proto to get a freebie. The smoke comes down to give some safety for Ban. But the site's been lost, and Leviathan is now coming in with this late play through the door. The boy Dre's looking, but looks away at the worst possible time. The dart's going to give away his position. That's what allows Dazzle to line up that shot. Wardell still back sight, waiting for the peak to come through. Uh -oh. Looks for the jump, and that's when he gets caught, potentially. Wardell actually dashes away from that Viper snake bite. Well played, but now stuck Ooh. in a difficult position. He's going to fight his way out of it. It's all down to Wardell in a 1v1 against Tig. The knives come out. Wardell's got positional advantage. Tig's got 30 HP. This is going to be difficult as Wardell just sets up shop in main, jumping around the corner, knowing that he's coming. Goes for the smoke down on the spike. Doesn't even activate it. It will be the round. Oh, unfortunate. One for one. He has had to play that game all day. They've been in that position before. There's a nice shot coming out from Wardell. The ult comes through and gets a kill onto Sabroza. But a, res a res in response from Bang. Neutralizes that. Not teased right here. Who will catch? No! I thought for sure that was going to be a free kill onto Tig, but it spun so quickly back in favor of LG. Not only does Tig get the kill in mid, but right as they escape from A main, there's one waiting right around the edge. Still, when it's a map that's so out in the open, and you're you're not using utility to try to push him back, then it's just easy pickings right now for Wardell. But we finally have an off versus off. Ben loads one up, and Dazzle drops the spike towards A main. A little bit of a sloppy fight there for Dazzle and Sabroza. Favors the defense. The off does beat in mid, gets another kill on the round. But Wardell is also in mid. It's going to give you too much. So Wardell has to really be key. And with two players up top, Wardell's got so many targets, and that's going to prompt a potential Huge. trade peak. But Bang actually finds one. Wardell grabbed the spike and escaped. But Wardell is low on time with just 13 seconds left. Wardell has one choice, and that's Ten running it into left. the A site. Yeah, and they hear it right now from the defender side. Leviathan really loves palm trees. Wardell and down. Bang both taken out of the equation. There's another kill coming in from Ban Sabroza. Responds in kind with an op. But looking like a fourth round coming out for LG. <laughs> it's not the palm tree. He likes the little crab that is crawling over. He's like, where is that crab coming from? Where did he hide from? Where did he disappear to? All the questions you need answered in life here when you're playing this map. I love that this is still a thing. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it's not like this round is going to go their direction, and I think that's what they recognize. Now it's up to the... Fight things up and even take the lead on the attacker side, so let's pull it out. It's not over yet. So many ults being popped. Cypher ult, Bladestorm, etc., but TSM comes out on top of the exchanges, finds themselves in an incredibly advantageous 5-on-2 at the tail end of the first half. Big and a proto, last two remaining bastions for LG's defense. Leviathan will go through first, Tig's waiting on the other side, it's a clothesline shot. Now it's all up to a proto with just 43 HP. Flash going out first, there's the first kill. A proto can do some stat pad here at the tail end of the half. Would be awesome, but yeah, let, let's look at this pistol, man. We do now have TSM on a defense. Look at this one-way wall. It's got to be dropped off. It's got to be the spike down, and it's going to be two players spotted also by Nest. Yeah, but what they're not prepared for is your boy Dre, who's still here. Your boy Dre is getting a late call out as well because he went the other direction. Bang oh, is just no. delivering <laughs> shot after shot, and there's Bang again. That's a 3K for the Sage who uses their own wall to boost. Oh. And Wardell make it happen here with the Marshall. There's the first shot. It's so deadly and so accurate. His teammate on site, though, is down and taken out of the equation. Wardell's looking for the dart. Didn't even know where it was. Is now really in a difficult spot. Is there going to be 
trying to find him. The no scopes are both on point. And that puts Dazzle down on just 4 HP. As the spike touches pay dirt, there are some snake bites coming down from distance. But a proto is right on the side of the wall. And Leviathan has been eliminated. Ordell still on site, somehow still dealing damage despite being the player that was there at the time that they. Let's see if it's successful for them with it back on as it blows up in their face. They do get one early kill from Sabroza before he's traded out. Distance battle from Bang. Bang's trying to play this head peeking game over top of it. That large rock in mid. Wardell has to be careful. There's a dart that's down. Tries to smoke it. Doesn't work out. Eventually, Tig gets the best of Bang and the game is taken to an end. But it is two on two regardless. A proto. And Tig versus Leviathan and Hazed. Still got Leviathan here with the up. Oh, Leviathan can't quite get the shot out in time. Great connect from a proto. But Hazed is here. All going to come down to that wall. With point. And we're only playing a controller now for uh, LG and no Sentinel plays. So it works out pretty well so far and not anymore as Wardell goes with a aggressive push with the Blade Storm. Here they come, though, swarming out like lemmings towards this kitchen side, down towards a main. But it's still going to be Tig just taking him down. Well, the spike is heading across the map as well, understanding that this aggressive play is not true. There's a flash coming, and there's actually some information being gathered here by Hayes, who's spotting them back in the corner. That's a dink shot coming out. It's a disappointing no-kill moment. Leviathan does get the finishing blow, and now it comes down to one. It's Leviathan with the 4K on the round. It opened up with Wardell. But it finishes with the young fragger for TSM. All you want at this point is for Wardell, and they might have a bit of a field day over here on A. Sure, the wall is up, and that'll at least give them a little bit of coverage to go through. But there's the first shot coming out. Follow up, maybe not necessarily shot. on the mark. It's a leg shot coming out. But you've got Wardell here as well. It's like fish in a barrel as they make their way out onto the site. Three remain, and one is very low on HP, and right around the corner, bang, yep, the timing, one, two, doesn't find the third, your boy Dre goes for the dismiss, but there's... Not being as nervous, fighting around, I think it's, for me, it's kind of like the feeling that Zekin got when he was playing with Exodus, like, man, I'm playing high level Valorant, and I'm able to hang with the best, I feel that Bang is starting to feel that at the same time, too, playing with TSM right now, and I think now Baby Bay might have to take something back, because Bang is... In. Looking to find that target, trap backside sight, can't quite line up the second pulse, Hazed, able to deliver a nice shot over top of the pipes. Leviathan was able to back off. There's the hat coming out. That'll give away the positions. Hazed spots one clear in the open. The round is quickly falling apart, and there it is. TSM have made it through the upper finals into the grand.